Now, other news. In the face of rising global temperatures, plastic waste and air pollution, councils across Sussex are declaring climate emergencies. But once they've said there's an emergency, what are they actually going to do about environmental problems? Well, in Brighton, talks are underway to bring a so-called Citizens' Assembly to the city to discuss how to tackle the climate crisis. A group of ordinary people are deliberating what to do. They've been used elsewhere to work out changes to abortion laws in Ireland, for instance. But how would they work in Brighton and Hove? Our political reporter, Ben Vice, has been speaking with Les Gumby, who's a local activist with the Extinction Rebellion Group. I think the problem with politics at the moment, and we've seen it with Brexit, is that um, politicians are divided on issues and they can't seem to find the mechanisms to make clear and sensible decisions um, and climate change cl- the climate emergency or the climate crisis as it's now being called is an area where politics just doesn't seem to work it's too short term it's too party political so you need some radical decisive long-term action a dictator could provide that but that wouldn't be very democratic so what's the what's the solution that you're offering So Extinction Rebellion has put forward the idea of a citizens' assembly and they've um, demanded that uh, nationally that um, comes together to look at the issue of the climate emergency and how we should respond. We here in Brighton feel that a local example of a citizens' assembly would also help our local council in making bold decisions about how to address uh, the climate crisis and what is a citizens' assembly? It's essentially a uh, a group of randomly selected people from an area, um, chosen very much in the way that a jury is cho- is chosen um, by a process called sortition, um, and this group of people comes together and um, deliberates on a particular issue or question. It's given um, informed opinion from experts and other stakeholders through a process of deliberation and discussion. It comes to some conclusions and recommendations about what can be done to address the situation. You've mentioned that they'd, they'd they'd hear evidence. How do you make sure that they're able to get the information they need to make a proper decision and also are able to understand that information? Yeah, that, that's a good question. Um, so the the group of people that are chosen, it would be done on a voluntary basis um, and they would also um, need to be uh, rewarded somehow financially for, for their time um, and a proper amount of time would need to be given to the process. It's not something that could be done in a, in a weekend. It would need to be done um, over a, a, an extended period of time. People would be given... Um, some some training in critical thinking to um you know so that they had the skills to look at the evidence that was being put before them and are you open to the idea that the citizens assembly might come up with very different solutions to the ones that you personally and and your you know your your friends as climate activists would be advocating yeah so this is a question that we i discussed i was discussing with my family last night and my daughter put exactly that question to me Um, And I think the answer is is a clear yes. Um, It's about trusting people to to take an issue seriously and once they're able to um, see the problem clearly and understand the different angles from from every angle, the the, the pros and the cons of different action, um, for them to, you know, trusting people to... Um, use their common sense and and their understanding of things to to make best decisions. And just finally, what should the council now be doing, uh, in your view, to to set one of these up? We're in dialogue with the council um, over how how this process might move forward. My key um, thing for them would be that if they're going to, um, to run a citizens' assembly, that they do it properly.